I've been involved in a long-distance love affair with Cornwall for as long as I can remember. It's such a beautiful, unique and enchanting place to visit, whether in person or in my imagination. There's just so much to love. Windy coastlines, spectacular wildflowers, abundant gardens, the mingling of the present and the past, history and mystery, myths and magic. When I was dreaming up the lake house, I wanted a setting that lent itself to a story in which an abandoned house might be rapidly consumed by nature. Loanneth in the 1930s, when we meet the Edervane family, is a place of pristine cultivation, of well-kept gardens and efficient household staff, the country home of a genteel family leading a genteel life. But by situating the house in the middle of such a wild and rugged place, with its nearby woods and crashing ocean waves, it was all too easy to imagine how quickly nature would come to reclaim the house and garden after tragedy strikes. I spent a lot of time researching Cornwall in order to write The Lake House, but I didn't actually research in Cornwall until I was proofreading the novel. It was such a surreal experience, like stepping into the pages of my own book and having the world of the story come to life around me. I walked the same cliff-top paths that my character Sadie runs along, past little cottages just like the one her grandfather Bertie lives in, looked out across the same rugged coastline and vast ocean, and visited houses just like Loanneth would have been before the Edervane family locked it up and left. Mm -hmm.